best time for surf is usually the fall, the winter, and the spring, the cooler months out of the year. Um, a lot of times we like that cooler air over the warm water, so fall's perfect. You know, summer heats up that water, gets it nice and warm, and then fall that air temp drops and those gale force winds move in and uh, really push that water and make some good waves for us here. surf the natural wind-driven waves just like they do on the coast. Um, you know, our, obviously our windows for opportunity are a lot shorter here. A lot of times we're surfing, you know, anywhere between four and 12 hour windows, um, whereas sometimes on the coast you see, you know, four day windows for surf. If you uh, know what to look for and when to look for it, you can definitely find some, some good waves. people are getting into surfing right now. Uh, it is one of those uh, sports where you can socially distance, where you can go out there on your own or with one or two other people and some, some space between you and, and do it you know safely. I will say the first few times you go out, definitely a little uncomfortable, uh, feeling those waves hit you and the water dragging you around, but at the same time, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get and, and the more fun it becomes. It's funny because I always say that the most difficult part of surfing is everything that takes place before you hit your feet. You know, when you get on your feet, then you can ride the board, control it, have a good time, but it's the paddling out, you know, getting hit by those waves, having that current dragging you around. When you finally get up, pop up, and get on your feet is actually the easy part, in my opinion. There's so many factors that I love about it. Um, being outdoors in these naturally driven waves, um, you know, having a chance to kind of have some solitude out there. And then on top of that, the rush of, you know, riding down, gliding down the face of a wave, um, you know, right out in the open waters. Mm -hmm.